Okay, next challenge is compare instruction. So compare instruction uh, compares two values and sets uh, flags which can be then analyzed by uh, conditional jump instructions like we have here next. So let's see. Okay, our, uh, our version of the compare instruction right here gives us these uh, code bytes which is 3c 5a right and so um, i mean i already think that 5a is definitely an immediate value right so that's that's clearly this and 3c is has to be the opcode so let's uh, verify what uh, the manual says let's jump to the index and uh, locate uh, compare compare two operands uh, instruction this and uh, 3c uh, the format of the instruction is 3c ib like this and perhaps i can copy and uh, copy the entire line right copy the entire line uh, from from here and paste it paste it in so this has to be this um, opcode is 3c ib and this is uh, compare immediate right uh, immediate uh, value of uh, one byte size with register al so register al often used for comparisons that's why mm, the instruction is optimized for register al uh, to just uh, use uh, one byte opcode for this apparently very popular instruction uh, among other instructions uh, that are uh, available in x86 um, and uh, of course it just indicates that the, the following uh, byte is uh, an immediate value so i'll let you finish uh, the rest of this section Uh, so let's uh, uh, follow uh, with uh, jump less or equal. So jump less of equal is uh, another instruction that we have uh, in order to implement the loop. We make a jump from here to the update label. And uh, let's uh, copy and paste this uh, instruction and try to understand what uh, what it what is it doing okay uh, so um, uh, as before let's begin with instruction uh, set reference uh, go back to the list and uh, uh, find uh, documentation for jump if less or equal So we need to say uh, uh, JCC uh, here, jump if condition is met, right? So it's like a, a, um, a wildcard uh, version of the instruction. So we have a long list of instructions and uh, it's so long that we actually deal with two pages of it because there are so many conditional uh, uh, conditional. Um, uh, comparisons here so let's go to uh, the first page and see if we can find this code this looks like opcode to me 7e so let's see uh, yes 7e okay and this is our um, our instruction okay so copy this documentation and uh, we can say opcode is just to be consistent with, with what we did before um, and opcode is 7ecb jle uh, and uh, uh, the documentation the description of the instruction is jump short which means it only can jump in range of uh, plus minus 128 bytes or you know uh, <clears throat> minus uh, 128 and, and plus 127 bytes so it's the short range jump but that's typical for conditional jump instructions um, and um, it checks the zero flag to be one 
or sign flag does not equal overflow flag. So uh, believe it or not, uh, this check of flags corresponds to the true condition for the jump. Uh, and we don't really have to worry about it. It's, it's enough that we have a descriptive mnemonic that says jump if less or equal. Uh, I am going to skip uh, discussion about uh, these individual flags. But of course, documentation tells us pretty precisely uh, what exactly is involved because that's important for people who uh, create compilers and uh, um, write their own uh, programming language translators for for various types of tools. Uh, so we can just uh, uh, assume that uh, yes, this is good. <laughs> and uh, that's what uh, jump if less or equal logic uh, is, is, is supposed to rely on. Okay, so what is CB? Okay, so opcode is 7E. It's, it's found. Uh, it's, it's pretty well identified right here. So what is CB? Again, we jump to our, our uh, reference page. Uh, CB, CW, CD, and so forth is a one byte or two byte or four byte or six byte value following the opcode. So in our case, it's, it's a one byte, right? One byte. So here, um, CB is a one byte right a one byte value following the opcode that is used to specify a code offset and possibly a new value for the code segment to register okay all right so let's resize this and read this here so cb is a one byte value following the opcode right so it means that f7 right f7 cb in our case cb equals uh, f7 and this is a one byte um, i just use one article here uh, is a one byte value following the opcode that is used to specify the code offset and possibly a new value for the code segment to register okay so in our case uh, we know that this is a jump instruction so therefore this is um, a value to, um, that that we need to use to compute uh, uh, compute uh, the new location like where is this label to which we're jumping uh, this helps to compute where it is f7 is if we go to the byte um, uh, format let me clear and uh, enter hexadecimal f7 right f7 uh, so you can see that uh, the decimal value of this is minus nine in fact this uh, uh, one byte value is a two's complement which means it's a signed value so this is negative nine okay so this uh, equals negative nine and so what does it mean let's see if uh, we have this uh, jump um, uh, let's uh, uh, let's assume that jump is being processed by the cpu it means that the two these two bytes are loaded into the cpu instruction register and being uh, processed in terms of decoding the instruction fetching the operands and all of this and of course this jump instruction only uses two bytes so now the uh, by the time um, uh, these two bytes are loaded into the cpu for processing the instruction pointer should be at this address right so it should be uh, ready to uh, execute the next instruction which it will be because it's uh, conditional jump eventually is you know, so sometimes it jumps sometimes it doesn't but if it does jump if the flags indicates a good condition for such jump um, it will go back nine bytes and so let's count minus one minus two minus three minus four minus five minus six minus seven minus eight minus nine exactly that's the location 
of the update uh, label which is pointing to this location and therefore from here we're jumping to this instruction right if you just simply step uh, make this minus nine steps from here right from this address we just said minus one minus two and go go back and uh, this is the address to where we're jumping and this uh, disassembler is smart enough to sort of help us with this computation by indicating it it it, com it does this computation for us and tells us if this will jump it will go right here okay so it just shows us where the where the address is so this is what uh, this is uh, interesting uh, version of instruction it's a conditional jump instruction does this instruction include mode rm no it doesn't if yes explain briefly what uh, what is used uh, not available and i guess what we did up here uh, is the explanation for uh, the uh, this uh, uh, one byte value okay mysterious one one byte value which is uh, jump instruction using to uh, make adjustments to the instruction pointer and therefore be able to transfer control uh, to the place where uh, where it's supposed to be jumping okay so this concludes our um, uh, our uh, lab except of course we also have the return instruction on this list again i would like you to uh, do this on your own it should be pretty simple and in fact this is just one opcode c3 so just look it up in the documentation and uh, just just fill in these descriptions okay very well just don't forget to save your changes periodically i didn't have a chance to do this during my presentation but i recommend that you uh save your changes uh when you feel like uh, you've spent like maybe 10 or 20 minutes of your time it's worth uh, saving it so let's uh, save this uh, lab and this concludes our opcode analysis session uh, within this uh, lab exercise m07